Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Just a reminder, about 24 hours away, some of us from the station will be down in Newton at the drive-in. We're going to be having some giveaways, got the storm tracker ready to go. And uh, the movie Twisters, there's two movies. Twisters will be the first movie. The gates open at 7 o'clock local time. I think the movie starts at 840 local time. And then Despicable Me 4 is on after that, so it's a doubleheader. Again, we'll see you down in Newton tomorrow at the drive-in for the movie Twisters. I've heard some good things about it so far. Haven't seen it myself yet. 83 and 64, that's the high and low for the day today. So about average on the temperatures as far as precipitation. Nothing today. We're holding to 3.64, but we do have rain chances in the forecast between now and the end of the month coming up the middle of next week. River stage in Terre Haute, 6.8 feet. It is currently on the way down. So here's what we're looking at. Another nice night tonight, a good day tomorrow, but stormy weather patterns settling in next week. As a matter of fact, I have a video up on my Facebook page. If you want to see the kind of the details, but I think next week's going to get pretty active around this part of the country. And it's also going to heat up, especially just west of here, but we're going to heat up here as well. Here's our cycle cast for 7 o'clock this evening. That's Indiana time, 81 degrees. We'll have a northeast breeze, but a nice night if you're going to be out there. And the joint water tower forecast, we take you to Chrisman, Illinois, mostly clear 60 degrees. It's going to be a nice night across the valley tonight. You may have noticed a little more haze to the sky today. That's because of some smoke in here from fires to the north. It'll stay with us some tomorrow, but notice by Sunday as the wind changes direction and we start to get some rain, we'll see less of that uh, hazy smoke in the sky as the pattern starts to change weather-wise. On the water vapor satellite, deepest moisture is just south of here. That's where we find some of the cloud cover. Now it's close, and I think eventually with time, in about 24 hours or so, that starts lifting northward, and we start to see the clouds thicken. But for tonight, we'll be looking at basically fair skies. Nothing showing up on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, so we're good overnight. I think we're good tomorrow. Great day to get outside, do something if you need to do it with the dry weather. By tomorrow night late, we start to see some of the rain kind of creeping into our southwestern counties probably after midnight or so. This would be late tomorrow night. And then as we get into the day on Sunday, we see some of the showers and thunderstorms moving into the day. It does not look like a washout, but scattered rain chances and that pattern will stay with us as we head for next week. This is rainfall just over the next 48 hours, so this just gets you into Sunday evening. You can see some locations picking up some okay rainfall, some of the heavier thunderstorms. This is the pattern next week. I'm just going to let this roll. Most of our storm complexes will develop northwest, move southeast. Some of those could be a bit strong. Something we'll be watching, also possibly some heavy rain. Next week definitely looks like some active weather. And temperature-wise, the heat is really going to build in the plain states, but we're going to get in on some of that. And we get a day next week that we don't get thunderstorms, it could get pretty hot. Otherwise, those thunderstorms will help to cool things off just a little bit. But long term, we kind of stay in that pattern. Notice this goes out through the first few days of August with a lot of the midsection of the country and even here at home looking at some pretty warm weather. So your forecast tonight, though, it looks pretty good tonight. Drops down to around 60 degrees with fair skies out there. Kind of hazy. Then during the day tomorrow, looks pretty good. Some sunshine, but again, a bit of a haze to the sky. Daytime high will be approaching 90. And then after that, we have rain chances on Sunday and pretty much a daily chance as we take you into next week. Highs will be around 90. Overnight lows near 70 pretty much every day next week. Grant. Thank you, Jesse. Plenty of baseball this Friday.